Hello, let's get started with using Classics extension in Visual Studio Code. So we have Visual Studio Code open as well as our getting started documentation. Let's get started with installing. We can either select this link or find Classic in our extension marketplace. There we have it and we'll install. And we're ready to run our first command. Let's start by logging into Classic. We do this in the command prompt. Uh, by clicking Command Shift P or Control Shift P. And if you don't see the command needed, you can type it out. I have saved my password to Classic so it remembers me, but you will get a dialog here to sign in with your credentials. Now we are ready to start coding. We begin by creating a workspace. We we can do this in file, add folder to workspace, and I'll create a new folder called intro series. We can see it is up here in our explorer. We can skip configuration for now. We synthesize with files of a .qmod suffix or quantum model. We then generate quantum circuits with this generate quantum circuit command, and we need to make sure that it is on the qmod column. We are now ready to create our first quantum circuit. So let's create a file in here, control N, and I will call this state preparation.qmod. Now I can copy and paste this code block. We can now uh, command shift P and generate quantum circuit and we need to supply a name. So let's say, hello world. And this model gets sent to the cloud and Classic searches all of the possible circuits that have this functionality under these constraints and it'll return the best implementation. So here we are, we have our uh, circuit here. We have our four qubits, three being prepared in a state and one ancilla and our varying gates acting on our qubits. You can see also on the right hand side, I have chasm, and this is the quantum programming language that implements this circuit. Now we can continue to see that in our explorer, we have this new folder called classic, and in that we will have a file for each of our circuits. So here we can see it is hello world, and we have our interactive circuit. I can open preview these interactive circuits, or you can find the uh, folder in your directory and open these in a browser. If we open this up, we can see our exact circuit displayed earlier. So this is very helpful with much larger circuits with many functional blocks so that we can better understand how this circuit fits together. Thanks for watching.